So hello everyone, it's your boy Davage. In today's video, we are diving into the Unreal Engine's new gameplay camera assets, where we are going to set up the camera system that will let us to switch between first person, third person, and top down view all in a one step and with a smooth transition. And that's not all. We will also tackle the occlusion handling. Whenever objects come between the player and the camera, we will change the material automatically to maintain the visibility. So without wasting any time, let's get begin. So first thing first, I will create a folder for my camera. So simply create a folder and name it whatever you want. Now inside this right click on your content browser and under gameplay select camera assets and here select blueprint camera director and simply create it and name it whatever you want and double click to open it and after opening it you will find that we already have a pre-created rig so simply rename it as FPP and apart from that we will also create two more rigs one will be for our TPP and another one will be for our top down view so this rigs will be our actual camera now drag a node from here and get a sequence and from this zero get a boom arm and from one get a field of view then by selecting our boom arm set the offset as 30 and 40 and here you can always play with these values now open your tpp rig and i will paste the same node here as well and from this boom offset get a camera rig parameter and what is it so think it just like a variable but a dynamic one whose values can be changed in the runtime and from one get a field of view and from two get a dampen position this is for smooth camera movement so the camera position towards a target location over time instead of snapping directly to it and lastly get a occlusion material and i have this occlusion material which i created for the tutorial so i will apply it here and we are all set done with our tpp now for a top down view get a sequence then a boom arm and one more thing back to our tpp under details of our boom change the offset value to something like minus 450 and back to our top down select our boom arm and make its offset something as minus 1000 and as I already told you you can play with this values as per your need and from one get a field of view and from two get a dampen position and make the forward damping factor as 5 and lastly get a occlusion material and under material select your occlusion material and now if you will try to compile it it will give a build error why because we need to assign a camera director evaluator class so I will simply create one just by clicking this plus icon and name it whatever you want. Now open your player's blueprint which is sandbox character and here we will create a variable of integer type name it camera type. Now back to our evaluator search for evaluator owning actor node. It's something like who's using the camera we can have the detail of that actor here and under its class it will be our sandbox character and from this written value search for the variable one that we created and get a switch node from it and add three pins 0 1 and 2 and from it search for node active camera rig and under camera rig select one of your camera and do the same for all now lastly from return value get controller and from this set the control rotation and split its pin and connect it with our camera rig which is active for our top down rig and set the pitch value as minus 50 and we are doing this so the player input directly matches the camera view now back to a player's blueprint get any of the three key and set the camera type variable as 0 1 and 2 so now how this complete thing will actually work so whenever i will press any of my these keys the value of my camera type variable will be changed and in our evaluator we are switching the type of camera that will be activated on based of our this values so whenever i will press the key the value of this camera type variable will be changed and that will be reflect in change of our type of camera hope you are getting my words now lastly change the gameplay camera with the camera one that we just created and now let's give it a try so here inside of a game you can see that it's working absolutely fine like you can see we are in the first person mode and if i will switch you can see this all two modes are working absolutely fine but only difference that we have here is like the smooth transition is not working like if i'm switching we are directly switching instead of a transition so now we have to work for that so let's go for it so open your camera assets and here go to the transition and from this exit transition get a exit transition node and from this blend get a smooth blend and simply copy and paste this for all your other camera rigs and we will be all set done with that so now let's give it a final try and now you will find that now our smooth transition is working absolutely fine and it's looking very good so that's enough for this video if you have any query related to this feel free to ask me in the comment section and you can download this project from my patreon and make sure to join our discord server for more exciting updates and please don't forget to like and subscribe the video bye bye